We're here at Ransom Everglades. Time for another AutoNation Scholar Athlete of the Month winner. We're here with Lisette Telez of the girls' volleyball team at Ransom. So, Lisette, first and foremost, congratulations. Thank you very much. So, we always start off with an academic award. So, we start off with academics, although your athletic achievements are, are very good. And I let you, I let everyone brag about their GPA. And, and you're going to try and be modest here, but why don't you tell everybody what your GPA is? Um, I have an 11.53, but don't worry. It's on a 12-point <laughs> scale, not on a four-point scale. So... All right, it's so, so so 11.5, I don't care on what scale it is, how do you get an 11.53? Stand closer to me, too. I'll make yeah, sure. Sure. Um, it's uh, it's out of 12 points, so a 12 point is an A+, plus, a, an A is an 11, and an A minus in 10, and so on. So you just kind of add up over the years and then divide, you average it. So that's how I ended up with the 11.53. So my brain works pretty good, so if that's the case, that still means there's a lot of A's. You're getting a lot of A's. Yeah, yeah I've never gotten a B. <laughs> so, All A's. Uh, I've only so, had one A-. minus. AP US, that was a tough class. What kind of what kind of repercussions were there for the A minus? <laughs> <laughs> they were not, they were not, it's okay. My mom was actually pretty happy. She's like, good, you are human. So right, all right. That's yeah. good, you are human. Yeah, she is human. She's this not a robot standing next to me. All right, now the other thing too is you're going off to a to a great school. Tell everybody where you go to college. Uh, I'm going to MIT. And so MIT's, uh, you know, t it's a uh, Massachusetts <laughs> Institute of Technology, yes, right? Correct. So I'm, I'm assuming you're a math person. I am, yes. I love math and science, actually. So how'd you fall in love with numbers? Um, I guess ever since I was little, I used to do a uh, math Olympiad when I was younger, which is just like math competitions. And I would always do uh, surprisingly well. And I just thought it was so much fun. And so I guess just practicing over the years, I've just come to love it. And um, science as well. I just love doing experiments when I was younger. Um, so that's just kind of become my passion. What, uh, you're the uh, president of the National Honor Society, president of the math, uh, math club here, right? And you're on the, on the math team. So how do you juggle everything? Um, uh, not a lot of sleep. No, I'm just kidding. Um, mostly, I mean, I have a lot of people who help me out, which is amazing. Like, my friends are so supportive. Um, and it just comes down to, like, I love it, and so I make time for it no matter what. Like, I'll, I don't watch TV. I'll do something else instead, but that's because I love it. It's not really a sacrifice. All right, so let's set. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on the spot here since you're a math math person your ransom girls volleyball team yes. um went 30 and 3 this year yep do you have any idea what that winning percentage would be um how do you do winning percentage is it like 30 divided by 33 30 divided by 33 that would be like 0.9 something yeah, all right That's right all right so that, let's talk about this ransom girls volleyball mm -hmm. state champs yes 30 and 3 record 4a state champs how awesome was that Literally the best feeling of my entire life. Not better than this. <laughs> okay, yeah, but <laughs> second to this, no, I it was actually incredible. Um, that game was amazing. So we were down. Uh, we lost the first two sets. And I just remember our libero giving us a speech, telling us that we're not allowed to lose the last game she'll ever play. Um, and then after that, it was weird. We just completely turned things around, and we ended up winning the next three sets. Super close games, and I've just—I've never been so proud of my team in my entire life. It was—it was incredible. Now, uh, how'd you get in the volleyball? Um, okay, so I used to be homeschooled until freshman year, and so I had a lot of time to do sports. So I used to play, uh, I've played seven sports, and I guess over the years I kind of weeded things out because I didn't have as much time. So I decided, I was like, you know, I don't like individual sports, I want team sports. So I let go of um, tennis and track um, and swimming. And so I was like, okay, you know, now I'm going to keep going. And then eventually I figured out it was too hot in Miami to do outdoor sports. So I was like, no, 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 no more softball, no more right. soccer. So I was left with uh, basketball and volleyball. And then by the time I got to high school, I was like, all right, I have to commit to one. And um, I actually broke my ankle playing basketball. So I was like, all right, that's a sign. Right, Singing with volleyball. And I love it. I play beach volleyball also. So. All right. So now we got a little trend going here with this Auto Nation Scholar Athlete Program. We got you, we got Annika, we got Brooke, <laughs> all... Dade County winners, all girls volleyball. You guys all know each other, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Try not to embarrass yourself. Okay. Best volleyball player is? <gasps> oh, you can't do that. <laughs> um, I think we're all, yeah, I'm going to give a political good. answer yeah, yeah. here. No, I think we're all very talented, like in our own like respective but, areas. I mean, um, Brooke yeah. is an outside, Annika's a middle, and I'm a libero. So we all have pretty different positions, um, and we've all played for a really long time. And I'm really happy that we're all playing in college. So that's awesome. Well, Congratulations. It's a great honor and uh, $1,000 from AutoNation to the girls volleyball team here at Ransom on Lisette's behalf with that ridiculously high GPA that I can't even count, even though she's a math major. Congratulations once Thank again. Thank you. Thank you so much.